How's that for an intro? It's February 10th, 2022 today. Temperature outside is uh, minus 11 Celsius or 12 Fahrenheit. Looks to be a little bit windy out there. We're supposed to get some snow. There's a 99% chance of snow. So they're saying there's a chance it might not snow. So that's good. We'll see how the day goes. It's Thursday, so tomorrow's Friday. We got that. A lot of flags everywhere nowadays. A lot of flags. Here's another one. Oh, is he gonna pull up for me? Now he's gonna let him pass. I tried to buy a flag the other day just because I, I collect flags, right? I have a whole bunch of them. <laughs> oh, the price of Canadian flags has gone through the roof. And you gotta wait like four weeks on Amazon to get one. <laughs> it's nuts. But yeah, they, uh, they're uh, very popular. Very popular, at least around my part. So from what I see, yeah, they're pretty popular everywhere right now, but especially around our area, there seems to be quite a few flags. It's always great to see pride in the country. I just don't like it when they're flown upside down, okay? I understand that a lot of people right now are frustrated with the government. Okay, we're not gonna get all into that in my channel here, okay? I'm trying to keep my nose out of that on my channel here, okay? Doing my part, but here in YouTube land. We're just going to focus on what we love doing. But uh, I know a lot of people are frustrated. But that flag represents us, the Canadian people. It doesn't represent any politician. So just because you're mad at a politician doesn't mean you should fly it upside down. That, I wanna say that. The flag is to be flown upright all the time. It represents us, the Canadian people. I think that's why you see a lot of the flag around the country right now. You see a lot of the Canadian people flying their symbols around saying, hey, I'd like to be heard. We are the Canadian people. We want to be heard. Yeah, that's, that's what's sort of going on right now. Well, let's not focus that on here. I want to focus on brightening your day. If I start talking about that, we're all just going to get mad. Let's not get mad. Let's stay glad, all right? Let's go start the truck up here. Let's let's do what we enjoy. Let's keep things moving around here uh, so that uh, the rest of the people here can continue, you know, living their lives and eating. The sun keeps coming up earlier and earlier. The street lights are already off. I don't know if it's still purple. We're just gonna have to assume that it's still purple and they haven't fixed it yet. Maybe I should assume the best. Maybe I should say maybe they have fixed it. Oh boy, I can't see. Four wheel drive. We've got a clearing, let's go. Don't wanna get stuck on the road here, there we go. It's a bit of a blustery day out here today, isn't it? Oh dear, oh. I gotta go up to Toulon today in this. Should be fun. Yeah. Should be a lot of fun. It might take a little longer than usual. I'm just gonna go ahead and throw that guess out there. All right, we're gonna give this a very cautious attempt. I've gotta go a little ways down the road to pick up some freight. But if it gets too bad, we're turning around and coming right back. And we're getting close to that line of turning around. But I've been looking at tra uh, traffic cameras online of the roads ahead and it clears up as I go along. So the worst seems to be right here according to all the live cams. It's always nice to have those, those are a godsend. So we should be all right. You can see traffic is moving faster than I am which I'm okay with. I don't want to be the fastest one moving down the highway today. Yeah, they're already clearing up here. Okay, good. I think we'll be all right. We're just gonna take it slow. 
You know, this is Manitoba, this is Canada. And trucking in Canada doesn't shut down just because of a little snowfall. There is a limit where we shut down. There absolutely is a line. But if you draw that line too close or too short, you don't get anything done because it's always snowing. You can't always shut down. But it is a fine line. You gotta sort of learn where that is. And it's all about personal judgment. Unless if it gets really bad, then the, the RCMP come in and they tell you, all right, go home, road's closed. But so far, they haven't done that anywhere in the province yet. All roads are still open. So we'll just be careful. We'll see what happens. The roads did end up clearing out. Look at this. And that's why we ventured out slowly and carefully. But now we're through it all and the storm has passed. It's nice to be able to have the resources of those live traffic cams that you can look at anytime you want. I'm pretty sure everywhere has those now, right? Unless you live like way, way far away from the, the urban areas, but since I'm delivering around the Winnipeg area, we pretty much have traffic cams all around the city. And you can just log on to 511manitoba.ca and see what the road conditions are or exactly where you're headed. There are just a few delays on the perimeter on the way up to here, up to Toulon here, but it didn't delay us too long. We're okay and uh, got our work done. We got our load and our trailer behind us. Another successful day. That's what I mean when you when you go trucking up here in Canada. It's <laughs> sometimes it's a hit and miss. Other times it's you know you gotta watch the forecast. You gotta look at the traffic cams and make a personal judgment. And as for today, it uh, worked out in our favor. Well, we got another pickup truck coming up behind me. Like he's got the flags in the back again too. Man, those guys are everywhere. <laughs> I don't know if it's like that around the rest of the country, but Southern Manitoba. Yeesh. Alberta is even more in Saskatchewan. Crazy times we're in. Crazy times. What a time to be alive, you know? We're living through history. And I know that sounds kind of like, duh, of course we're living through history. But we're living through events right now that are going to be talked about for the rest of the existence of our country. Oh no, this guy doesn't have any flags, it's okay. Or it's okay. It would have been okay if he had them too. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care either way. But we're living through times right now that, you know, we're making history. Of course, with this virus, this pandemic, that's going to be talked about for hundreds of years. You know, our great-grandchildren's grandchildren are going to be learning about this in their textbooks in schools. And whatever story is going to be on those pages of those textbooks is up to us to decide. What story are they going to be reading? And who's going to be teaching it to them? And what language will it be in? <laughs> That's not really an issue in Canada right now. It'll be in English or French. But uh, we're not facing any, you know, like big invasion or something from Russia. Though, uh, that would be scary to live through. And, uh, you know, my thoughts and prayers go, I, I don't say that with a, a light heart. I know that there's, uh, I know about the issues in Ukraine and everything there, so uh, I just want to say my heart goes out there and I hope everything gets resolved peacefully. I always hope for peace. You know, I hate confrontation. I think I'm your typical Canadian. We hate confrontation. But if it has to be done, we'll do it. But with all that aside, looks like the weather's clearing up. We got some pretty warm temperatures outside. And I think this weekend is shaping up to be pretty good. It's a good day to be trucking. The lazy weasel. You earned it, buddy. Enjoy retirement. I think I will, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I'm really glad we have the resources we have now. Like the, the live traffic cams and stuff. Uh, up and down our highways, it really helps a lot. You can sort of see into the future where you're headed, how it's going to be, and sort of get more of an idea of if things are improving or getting worse. 
uh, if you're in Manitoba, you can go to the website 511, like the numbers 511 and then manitoba.ca. I believe that's the website. Go there, it'll give you a map and it'll tell you which roads are closed and which ones are in bad condition, which ones are open and clear. And you'll be able to click on these little camera icons and that represents the live cameras at certain sections around the perimeter and around the province. And you can see uh, live exactly what the roads are like there. That helped a lot today. So Manitoba is a pretty small population. Uh, so I'm guessing where you're from, there's probably more people around there than we have out here. And if that's the case, well, you probably have a lot more resources available to you already for the live cams and traffic updates and stuff. Uh, if you're thinking about getting into trucking, people ask me for advice sometimes. One of my biggest pieces of advice would be uh, locate and get familiar with all of your resources for highways and highway and road conditions. Stay on top of the weather, always watch the weather forecast so that you're not blindsided by, by anything, by like a rainstorm or a tornado or high winds or snow or extreme heat or extreme cold. Know what's coming in the future, where you're going or where you're at uh, and stay on top of road conditions before you leave. Like don't leave and then realize on the way out, oh shoot, maybe I should have checked road conditions before I left. I've done that before and you got to find a place to pull over and try to remember to do that before you leave and I'm speaking to myself there as well that's always a good idea uh, what else would there be uh, in the US more people use a CB radio there so if you have a CB radio in your truck uh, and you have that on very often drivers will give you a heads up if there's any accidents or bad weather coming ahead there's also a lot of garbage on there that's why honestly I don't have one whenever I went down there and if I go down to the deep south, I couldn't understand what they were saying on the CB anyway, so it was kind of pointless for me to have it on. Because all I would hear is just out of the blue, just like, Oh, come on. But that's all I would hear on the radio. <laughs> and I'm not trying to make fun of them, but <laughs> I can't understand what you guys are saying. Up here in Canada, the CB radios aren't as popular, though some of the old school truckers still have them in their trucks. Uh, but there's not as many people to talk to. Also out east in Canada, people use different channels. I think they use channel one to talk on instead of channel 19. But channel 19, for whatever reason, is the general channel that everybody's generally on uh, in Western Canada and all over the US. But yeah, you can get some updates there. It's a good idea to have a CB radio in your truck. Uh, I should probably have one, to be honest. And just uh, know before you go. And always be prepared, okay? Always be pre prepared, because we all know the weathermen are wrong now and then. So uh, be prepared to be stuck on the highways. And with everything going on in our world right now, with uh, blockades and stuff, uh, a lot of these drivers are now stuck in traffic and stuck trying to cross the border, and they don't have supplies in their trucks, and they're running out of food and stuff. Maybe some of these drivers need their medication, and they need to go and pick up a medication for their health and they're stuck on the road. So always make sure that you're ready to be stuck anywhere for I'd say at least three days, at least. Have food in your truck for at least three days. And if you want, I should actually recommend you more like a week. Always have a week's worth of food, like non-perishable food in your truck, just in case of emergencies. I always had cans of soup and stuff, just in case you run out of food and you're stuck somewhere, either in a snowstorm, a, a, a blockage on the highway or whatever, that you're, you're gonna have food and water. Have lots of water with you all the time. Stuff like that, blankets if your truck stops running. Um, maybe some electric fans. I'll show you the fan here that I always had in my truck. I'm actually using it on our window here right now. Uh, this thing is awesome. I got it on Amazon and it just runs off batteries. You charge it and then it'll run for like eight hours just in case you're in a hot climate and you wanna keep some air movement and your truck won't run. There's that, so it always pays to be prepared for everything. Anyways, thanks for watching today, everybody. Not much footage, but like I said yesterday, been a little tired this week. I've been trying to uh, keep up with a lot of things and my brain is just exhausted. My body's doing all right, but my brain is just exhausted and I've uh, been taking it easy. We'll see you tomorrow. Take care, everybody. Stay safe out there.